we're in a long position, we don't have much material to hold. And I want to make sure we use the leverage in our body. And I basically tell all my students that the biggest difference between gi and no gi is the distance. Notice that most of the techniques we do without the gi, the angles of my arm and my legs will be 9 degrees. See here my arm? I want him to be inside that angle. Every time my hand goes out, I'm losing control over him. My body is not involved on the technique anymore. For an example here, the first technique, we mount. When the mount position, no gi. I don't have the collars, but I have now. I'm going to use the leverage here. I create that hook right behind his neck. And now I'll bring my elbow on top of his wrist. Now I control his arm without the gear. I move my body a bit to the same side that I have my hand on the ground. I will bring down my leg over. And make sure your leg already goes across. See here? My leg has to be already across on the ground. Now just move your hip a little forward in an angle this way. Now you have two options. I read a straight arm bar here finishing. Or in case he's holding you, I can't get his arm. I want to make sure I hold my leg as I roll. As soon as I land, I want to bring my foot over. And I have already the triangle. One more time. All right, one more time here. And I want you to pay attention to a small detail when you hold your leg. I'm going to go here in the arm holding. Now I bring my elbow on top of his wrist. As you can see here, I'm locking his forearm. I move my leg back a little bit. Now I come up and look, I bring him to me and I step. Now I'm going to push forward, touch my knee on the ground, and slide the hip forward, right here. Then I can easily finish an arm bar. It's difficult sometimes to get the arm. I'm fighting here. Now make sure when you hold your leg, do not grab your foot. Because when I finish my row, I can't lock my leg. My arm's on the way. I want to hold my shin. As soon as I roll, look at this. I'm already locked right here. When you do a triangle, don't hold on your toes like this. That hurts your own foot. I want to make sure I lock on my shin. Right here, both hands behind the head. Bring his head down and raise your hip. 